Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermi Bag Little Mammoth. All right, let's open it up and see what we've got. I probably haven't looked in on this in about a week and a half, so let's see what we've got. If you're noticing something weird today, I had always mentioned that if I'd had any sort of injuries on my hands or my nails that I would wear gloves. Um, so here we are. Um, I am not squeamish about getting my hands dirty, but then again, I also don't want to invite infection. So here we are. Got some leftover, you know, sprouts from pumpkins. The top here were, it was over, uh, I went and screened everything that I put in here and anything over the one half, sc half inch screen, um, you know, went in the bin. But today, um, I'm officially done trying to migrate anything or sort anything. I'm going to put the rest of what is in my migration bin in here and I'm also going to give them a good size feeding. All right, well, let's get going. So this is what I've been still trying to migrate, and it's still not going to screen out. Little problem with the orchids this week. Um, so this stuff is still not going to screen out, and here was what I was migrating to, so I'm done messing with it. I'm just going to dump them in. But let's see what we did catch. Looks like we got a fair amount of worms. So that's good. So I'm just going to dump this on top. I tried my best to, you know, just get the worms and leave the finished stuff out, but my patience is at an end with these guys and their lack of wanting to migrate, so that's just the way it's going to be. I have to leave that in there. So that's not a lot per volume, so let's just look and see if I fed and if we can see anything. Should have maybe done that first, but yeah, hindsight's 20-20. All right, so I think it's been long enough that there's nothing left. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's see. Doesn't really look like they're involved in anything, like a big ball. But it does, you know, they're all centered here in the middle and what was the tomato um, leftovers from canning tomatoes. So these are skins and seeds and, and all of that business. So these guys are upstairs, actually, where I keep my bonsais and orchids, and it is currently, I think, 72 or 75 degrees in here. Just went and looked at the thermometer, it is 73 Fahrenheit in here. So, you know, I can't have them in the basement, which I just looked at, and that is actually... Uh, 57 today. We're having a really serious cold snap here in Illinois. So today what we're going to give them is some really moldy food. I think it's bananas and tea and I don't know, consider, oh, noodles. There were some uh, noodles that had expired in the cabinet. So we'll see how that all, that all goes in a minute here. So going to kind of make a bit of a pit here in the middle. But yeah, this is what happens when they finally do, the microbes finally do get it an avocado pit. It kind of turns red like that. And then it just kind of turns into mush. So, you know, sometimes it, it seems like it's taking forever, but you just have to have the right microbes in there. And the older your bin is, the better your microbe population is the faster that they get at things that are very difficult to consume. 
So I'm just going to spread this out just a little. So yeah, these are lasagna noodles that expired. So I'm going to put those in there. And then I'm going to cover it up, but then I'm going to get my spray bottle and we're going to add a little bit of moisture to this system. Even, even pumpkin stems eventually start to break down. All right, it, it looks like my regular spray bottle is in the basement in the water and it's probably like 57 degrees. So here's plan B. Plan B is what I water my succulents with. And uh, so it is going to do about the same. I do better, really, because it's not putting such a fine mist in there that it's like almost nothing. So this might actually work better. But these are just, uh, oops, sorry, uh, kick the camera. These are one liter each, and they're, I think, three for seven dollars or three for eight dollars on Amazon. But they're just one liter laboratory bottles. If you can kind of hear a hum in the background, that is a humidifier uh, that I keep on for the orchids. And even so, it's still really not keeping the uh, vermi bag, uh, keeping it wet or as wet as I'd like it to be. So this had a liter of water in it when I got started. So I'm just going to keep turning things over and making sure that they're getting a little bit more comfortable. I added that uh, stuff that I was going to... Uh, migrate so that was really dry just trying to forcibly evict the worms and it just wasn't going fast enough but I put all of my plant clippings in here from my bonsais and leaves that fall off or get damaged from the orchids so they have a wide variety of food in here not just uh, people food or bedding. So this system's pretty new. Um, hasn't really had an opportunity to really work things down and break them down. So looking for you know how good the castings look right now is not not really worth it too much because they haven't had more than a month or so to really work on them. And they've had a lot of the, the overs, as I call it, from my siftings, which means that it's items that take a long time to break down. Here's an old avocado. All right, so some people wonder, what do mites look like? There you go. I will try and put a, a close-up of it in there. But they're, they're kind of the workout forces in here as far as, you know, tearing things down so that the worms can get to them. That's not, you know, that's a very localized area. I'm not seeing them all over the bin. So I'm not real worried about them. But you know, if they were all over, then I might take steps, but at this point, there's a lot of big stuff in here, and the worms are going to need all the help they can get to, uh, to tear this stuff down and so that they can eat it and turn into castings for me. All right, well, kind of a interesting, you know, update today. Um, not really all that normal. So weird. I've got gloves on. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give it a muddy, gloved thumb up. And if you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.